Hello and welcome to the Mental Health Hotline. If you are obsessive compulsive, multiple personalities, we know what you are and what you want. Delusion or depressive doesn't matter. No one will answer you. Would this fight escalate? Would it involve me? Expectations of the job himself and from the employers is unrealistically high. I began to laugh. This this deep, deep guttural laugh that the kind of laugh that makes your face and your sides hurt. And then I began to grow frustrated or when confronted. It has to be an immediate response, so to speak. Sometimes that response is violent. associated with this depression video because I was once a, uh, te a le supposedly a teenager with depression. But what happened to us in our childhood governs how we think and how we act. The wish, uh, the wish fulfillment kind of uh, thinking that she has about her boyfriend was brown, 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 brown. Press one repeatedly. Ask someone to press two for you. Press three, four, five, and six. Press seven, and your call will be transferred to the mothership. Doesn't matter which one you press. Doesn't matter which one you press. Doesn't matter which one you press. Find that you have got in, an infinite number of solutions, and I tried to hide it. Why ashamed? Because I had so much to be to be grateful for, really. And yet, I could still feel as if everything was going wrong. wrong there are certain wrong, wrong. personality deviations within the normal range which suggest a tendency to break down, break down, break down, break down, break down. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. I'm not ashamed of who I am. You know what? I'm not. Okay. Just one second. I'm not completely. I just don't want you know to what? be this conscious. is the reality of having mental health issues. This is how you feel sometimes. If you are obsessive compulsive, multiple personality, and we know what you are and what you want. Delusion or depressive doesn't matter, no one will answer you. It doesn't matter which number you press, no one will answer you. And if you have low self-esteem, hang up, our operators are too busy to talk to you. I wake up in a blank state and I feel depressed, suicidal. Keep it together, you say to yourself, but you can't, you can't. and it's just getting worse. No one, no one, no one will answer you. Everything's a mess. My fault. I shouldn't have been so ambitious. I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming you. I don't know what the hell's going on either. And I felt like I was useless. There is some truth in this because I'm a horrible, horrible person. So what's the point in living? Now it could be that deflecting people away from what's really going on with me is is just it's just what I do. What I do. It's not, it's not like I lost my mind or anything. But when I reached back in my memory, there wasn't anything there. <laughs> I'm a good man. I do deserve it. I do deserve it. This is burner right. It's like, uh, I can't breathe. My living bridges. It feels like you always have to cry. We build our past right. <sighs> I don't know what to do anymore. It's almost as if I'm in a crowded room and everyone is talking about me. He's talking about me. I feel this panic starting to arise. I always thought that they were gonna think that I was like crazy, crazy. You want to stop so bad. You dare wrong. All those things that I thought of as my craziness crazy. and my, my uh, delusions were true. true. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I feel like there's no. <gasps> I'm not okay. It's oh. So oh my god, 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 oh my god. I'm just this sad person. I'm terrified of being alone. Like I need people in my life. Life is hard. <laughs> it's hard for everybody. My body is so uncomfortable. And I just want to freak out. If I can't make myself happy, then what am I, you know? I just remember it being so much brighter, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's a weird thing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, I definitely feel like I'm at the beginning of all this. And I want it to be really beautiful. Um, and I guess that's...
99.9% chance this is going to happen to you in life. And I will be discussing a subject which was very dear to me. Love. love. It's rough. It took months for things to get better. Now, Mr. Webster defines this word many ways. Some examples include a deep, tender feeling of affection for or attachment or devotion to a person or persons. Show us me love for love. Love for love. Did I need a reminder of the world? You get one chance, you know. It's horrible. You can't be trapped in this little mindset of, oh my God, I'm depressed. You can't, because that's what's going to eat you up. I was just really messy. Really messy. Nasty. Crappy. Wait, no, tell me this is crazy. Look, I need to move on for me, for not me. for us. You just, you just need to be you, be yourself. Be yourself. And I realized actually what we should say to people is, don't be you, don't be don't yourself. Be yourself. Be us. Be, us. be we. That had me thinking there was a point that I did have love. love. And it was almost, almost momentarily, momentarily with regard to an accident, an accident that I had been involved, been involved, with. involved with. Look, Tommy, you know I want you around. I just can't anymore, okay? It is what it is. People choose People to, be, choose how they to are. be how they are. And I've been through some shit, seen some shit. Oh, types of bullshit that you can explain. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, I can't. Like, there's nothing logical in my mind that I can, like, focus on because it doesn't make sense. How could you do that? Like, how could you do this to me? Like, like, how could you do this? Like, how could you do this? I looked at myself differently. Like, I really internalized the situation. I really just thought, you know, I wasn't good enough or something. This is not something that I ever thought I would have to go through. <laughs> it's not something that I wanted to go through. Society's attempts to foster love and community have failed miserably. For most of my life, nobody called, visited, wrote, that coupled with being single, estranged from my cousins, and being an only child was exceptionally challenging. challenging. I hope you have found a love that's all the things ours couldn't be. Yeah.